Cause I will graph, I will graph conies. I will graph, I will graph conies. I will take Not really. these. Cause all I do you is copy. I do you use my head all to the time. Do something not like that. I use ellipses. And eclipses. And parabolas. And quadrabolas. And I'll graph hyperbolas with values of E and C. Yeah, I'll graph conics for it will you. Like it, I'll graph without my calculator. That could be the best intro ever. What do you think, little Mike? Yeah, it was pretty good. All right. Well, I think that's a good way to maybe finish off nine, uh, chapter nine here. Oh, thank God. <sighs> yes. Yes. Well, nine seven's not too bad, really. It's we're just going to be graphing polar equations of conics. I, mean, I remember in algebra two, everybody loved conics. What am I saying? I haven't done any of this stuff. That's a good call. Um, we are going to be graphing conics, so we're not going to be doing circles, but we are going to be doing uh, kind of like circles. We're going to do ellipses. Uh, parabolas and hyperbolas. Wow, I'm so excited. And uh, we're going to define conics in terms of eccentricities. You know what eccentricity means? E no. Ugh, man, you are a lost cause. I know what hyperbolas are. They make yeah. butt cheeks. Um, right? I don't think Is that so. the one that goes like, you know? Um, yeah. No, not really. Oh, or is that the one that makes like the oval? Yeah, kind of like the uh, inside out. If you take an ellipse and like flip it inside okay, out. Okay, so that's not the butt cheeks. I'm sorry. No, not the butt cheeks. So, um, all right. Well, let's go into our introduction here.